right, everybody, it's Sunday. And you know what that means. It's $5 day at the bins. So you know I was really excited to go today. And I thought, you know what? I'm only gonna spend $20 today. I'm only gonna find four things, four things, and that's it. Cause $5, hmm, you don't wanna spend too much cause you wanna make sure you get your money back, you know. But like I said before on $5 day, I try to get at least things that are gonna be $30 or more. So <laughs> I went there with a goal of buying four things. I bought 25 items. <laughs> I can't even stick to my own rules, but I got some good stuff. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so I know it looks like a mess, but so far this is the best way I've found to lay out my stuff to show you guys. Now, like you've seen in my other videos, for this bin store, there's no way to leave without buying stuff for yourself. That's pretty much this whole side is crap I got for myself, and this is reselling stuff. So. Obviously that goes into consideration when I paid $130, but I got stuff for myself too. So let's show you what I got. Where to start, where to start? We'll start with the personal stuff and get it out of the way. Picked up two things of some black disposable masks. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it before, maybe I have. Um, I have a job where I work in the medical field and even though they are provided to us, I like to have some on hand. I do prefer the black ones though. So that's why I got those. Oh, this ended up on the wrong side got this awesome bath pillow. I've always wanted one of these and never splurged and get one or got one. So today I got one for myself. Also, as a gift to myself, I got one of these plug-in wall warmers. I have one already, but it's only fall themed. This one is all black. Got a two pack of sea chargers. Okay, full disclosure, my brother found this at the bins and I love planners. I've always loved planners. Um, but then I tend to do everything on Google Calendar, so then I forego and I've, what, this year or last year I spent $30 on a planner, so I figure $5 and this one goes from July of 2021 to June of 2022 and I really like this one. It's got little stickers in it, it's got little tabs and then it's got all these checklists. I am somebody who lives and dies by the checklist. So I'm so excited that that's all this is a checklist. But on that same note, I also got this little tiny one. And it also has tabs. But then it's just week and priority. So it's also 2021 20, 22. So I'm not sure, but I know for sure I'm gonna use this one. This one is so beautiful. Got myself a temp thermometer because the one we have now is an oral one and I like these ones better found this Bento Kids lunchbox. I've always wanted one of these. I watch a lot of YouTubers who make lunches and I like packing lunches. Even though this one is for kids, I only have a 30 minute lunch at work. So the smaller boxes work better. So got that. Last couple of things for myself is a external DVD-R. I was just talking about how I'd like to go back to making some stuff on CDs, but I don't have a CD. Uh, oh my God, I can't talk. <laughs> Didn't have the equipment to do it. And this was at the bins for five bucks. Picked it up. And then I also got, oh, I just lost a screw from somewhere. A birdhouse. And it's got the side clean out, which is nice. If you ever have a birdhouse, you might want to clean them out at the end of the season um, after the birds have a nest. So that way the next birds can come in and make a nest. This, this birdhouse was probably 15 or $20 at the store. Five bucks. Okay. Now onto the stuff that you're here to see picked up um, the car port expander, picked up one of those. Now, like I said before, on $5 day, I try to pick up stuff that I'm gonna get at least, at least 20 or more dollars on, 30 preferably, but 20 or more, or 30 or more is preferred. So that's what I expect out of all of this, hopefully. I picked up a T9 professional gaming keyboard. It does have water damage, so I do need to plug it and test it, but besides that, it looks like all the cords are wrapped up and new. There it is. Also want to mention that anything I could open to make sure everything was there, I did. So everything you see here should have all its necessary components. And that's important because I also picked up a microchip cat flap door. That's neat. Oh, speaking of the cat. Picked up a sharp automatic alarm clock. A smart dimmer switch kit. A uh, Fi-Fine technology microphone. 
Looks brand new to me. A soap dispenser. Probably not in the 30L range for this one, but I knew that going in. This, I don't know if you can tell, I flip it around, is a weather station. A cat bowl feeder. Now I am going to disclose that these may come in their original packaging, but packaging may be damaged or uh, maybe different from product description or from photo, from pictured product, meaning the box will be different. This I picked up when I was on my way out. I looked in the bin and I bought, found it. It's a Snow Foam Canyon Pressure Wash Gun Series. And everything's in there. Next are these uh, key handles in silver. We have the same ones here in my house, but ours are black, so I plan on selling these. But we paid $5 a handle. So I'm assuming I can at least get 20 to 30 on this bag. These are window and door alarms, and there's six here. And I'll probably sell them in this six pack, depending on how the listing looks. This wireless doorbell. This thing, which at first I had no idea what it was. And then it's a handy counter. It counts your bills for you. And it has a case. So that's pretty neat. And then lastly is a digital wireless thermometer. So that's what I got for today. Let me know if you think I got any duds or if everything was good. I think I'm addicted to going to this bin store. I go twice a week, every week. This is now going on my third week, I think. I think. Um, like I said in one of my last videos, I did order a new action camera, which is smaller, so I can start bringing you guys with me more places. So that's exciting. And so, yeah, I had 25 items today for a total of 130, but obviously I had a lot of stuff for myself. So there's that. <laughs> All right, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.